Nate Thurman and pick up uh, a little bit here with uh, one of the greats of all time. In fact, I have to laugh. We have a, one of our producers, Rock Your World, can't name two warriors, but he bounced up here. <laughs> a really nice guy, but he wanted to say hello to Nate Thurman. He remembers uh, you from Cleveland. Right, yeah, okay. People. Was this enough for you today, Donald Sterling's uh, uh, being banned for life? Yeah, I, it was more than I expected, although I thought some things would come later, but I thought the commissioner was right on. I mean, he banned him for life. He fined him the maximum he could find him. But I think the most important thing he said was the fact that he's going to do all in his power to get the other owners in the league to give a three-quarter vote to get him out. And I think that that's what the players want. If you remember, uh, LeBron James, who led the charge, uh, said he has no a right to own an NBA franchise and that started everybody else with that theme and I think that uh, with the pressure of the uh, sponsors dropping out uh, with uh, the pickets will be there tonight with people across the country being outraged all of that and then you add to it the commissioner trying to do what he can do I think they'll get him out it'll take some time yeah. as one of the greatest of all time as I said maybe one of the top 25 of all time you've been through a lot your 50 years uh, in and around the game. Yes. Is Sterling the only one? No, uh, uh, Gary, I think we'd be naive to sit here and think that. But he's the one who got caught with his hand in the cookie jar, so to speak. So even the owners, if they're, and I hope that he's the only one, but if, if he's not, they have to go along with the pressures that are brought to bear on him at this particular time. So I, I don't think that Adam Silver would have uh, suspended, uh, excuse me, in death, I mean, for a, whole, for a lifetime if he did not have the votes, so to speak, in his pocket. And I'm hopefully and prayerfully uh, that I'm hoping that's the case. Money doesn't take away human dignity. No, you know, no bones about that. Right. But what it does do is give you the power to say, I don't want to play. Right. In your day, you had to go out and play, right? Right. right. You think yeah. these guys should have played Sunday? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I think that the game should go on. I don't think that they should let uh, Sterling interfere with what they've worked hard for. But go and do what you can do and that's what they're doing I mean play the game but don't forget what happened and when the season is over demand from the commissioner that he finds out from the owners when this vote will be taken and how soon this process will start now again I realize it's going to be a, a fight because uh, uh, Sterling has not come back with any apology that I know of yet uh, and the commissioner said that twice. He said nothing about being apologetic. So you can see that it's going to be a fight. But I think that with all the pressures that are going to be against this man, he's going to see the handwriting on the wall. And plus, you got to figure who's going to come to L.A. Uh, to play for him as a black player. And 75% and, and of the people in the, in the league are black. So. And as a white player, if you have a conscience, if you're right. just there for a money grab right. and that's all you can get, just right. to lighten the mood a little bit. And then mm -hmm. Nate gets a kick out of this stuff, too, I think. Think. Did you see the picture of uh, the Sterling girlfriend getting in the Bentley today? Take a uh, look. Take no, I, I must have missed that. I've been checking all channels, but I missed that. No, no, no. And there she is. She's wearing a protective so you can't see her face. Oh, yeah. but, but if Sterling's a player, right? Yeah. You don't buy her all these things. Well, I mean, well, no, he's a no, damn I mean, fool, isn't no, he? No, no, no. I mean, the players, uh, they yeah. get treated pretty well by the ladies. From yeah, exactly. what I <laughs> it goes the opposite yeah. way. Dude, well, you but, listen to my radio, and I appreciate yeah. you doing it. You hear the yeah. guy call in and say, what are you cracking on Sterling for? You know how much younger your wife is? I said, no, no, but I, didn't, I don't buy her uh, all that stuff. Yeah, right. Know? I mean, yeah, you know, but he's 81 years old, and, and I think I You heard think he was set up, though? Be honest. Well... Well, well, let me put it this way. She didn't put words in his mouth. Yeah. And also, from what I understand, he knew that she was taping him, supposedly yeah. because he has a bad memory. But all in all, the man said what he said. Yeah. And when it came out that that was his voice, what can you say? Yeah, Pam gets mad at me when I say set up. Pam, he's a damn fool. We know that. He's a racist. <laughs> he's a bigot. But on top of that, this young lady recorded him, too. Yeah. You know, yeah, that, that, right, right. that's all I'm saying. Right. What do you think the game will be like? tonight you think this is going to be like the Clippers going to come out like uh, a burst of energy and be tough for the Warriors well I think they're going to come out with a burst of energy because they have a burden off of their shoulders but I happen to think that with the lineup that we started the last time 
That's Gary, a smaller lineup. Smaller Sitting lineup. down the seven foot O'Neal and right. playing smaller playing guys. Smaller guys. Yeah. We have four guys who can score at the drop of a hat, and we have three guys who can play excellent defense. And when you have Curry and Clay Thompson uh, that can bomb you out, I mean, with just a minute bit of space, I think we have a chance to win two out of three. I really do. All right, got 30 seconds left. Do you think? Uh, when the history books look back at uh, this incident, they'll say that was a turning point for the NBA in an extremely positive manner, or will there be, well, what it did is expose there's still racism uh, at the professional level, extreme racism. Well, there's no question that it'll always be racism of some kind. I mean, when you look at, you know, I heard somebody say, well, he's an 81-year-old man. But when we look at a guy like Paul Ryan, who's not 81, and some of the things that he comes out of his mouth, there'll always be racism. Racism. But I do think that when we look back on his, in history and we do find out that he did have to sell the team, then we'll always remember that the NBA stood up, the players stood up, the sponsors stood up, and the general public stood up to a good cause. Nate, you're the greatest. And I'll say it again, that producer, the last time he came up in the yeah, studio, yeah. he said, you get up to be yelling at me, get up here on time or you're fired. So <laughs> that shows you what kind of guy you want to see the great Nate. Rock your I'll world now you, and I are you. buddies, but it took you to bring him back. Uh, Right, the great Nate Thurman. Nice being with you. You're the man. Back in a moment.